Hey, hey, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Last episode, uh, we went back to the junkyard and found my family. <laughs> I was just scratching my wrist. <laughs> and um, got our ass kicked, found a hot doctor. Hey, yeah. And this episode, you're just going to have to find out. Like me. Please, let me do the dishes. That's the least I can do. I'm crashing here. Crashers claim dishes. Your family. Besides, if they're not in the right way, David becomes a big baby about it all. I'm a pro at this point. All right, big boss. Um, I happen to be ah. an expert relaxer. If only you weren't a degenerate gambler, too. Ouch. Damn, too soon. Right to the core. Mind, but <laughs> I, I won't be here for too long. Just, you know, gotta get back on my feet a little. You're right. For years I on end. But David does. That's what people people always said. Maybe a little bit. No, actually, forget I said that. Uh, that wasn't for me to. Oh man, but I like David. Just David's my bruh. Or at least I he thought he was my bro. About how I'm never around, and then when I'm actually here, he acts like he doesn't know me. It's complicated, but look, he loves you. You're his brother. He's got an odd way of showing it. So where do you think you'll go? Don't know. With what happened, I'd be amazed if I could get a job assistant coaching T-ball. You'll land on your feet. Well, here's hoping. I could use a fresh start. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just travel around. You know, see what's out there. Want to take me with you? Say what? Well, uh, Katie, yeah. come on. You know that's a bad idea. Of course I do. I'm just messing around. <laughs> good, good, it's good. It's just hard to say no to a fresh start. I love how we joke back to go to Norway. See the northern lights. Oh my god, me too! Jet setting and I'll still just be here. Oh my god, me too! God damn it! Oh my god, me too. Damn. Oh, me too. That was David's me too. Glass. Oh, he's gonna be army? so pissy about it. Okay. I can hear him already. He sounds like a really pissy guy. So annoying. He's not fun like us. Glasses break, he'll understand. Not with this glass. It's the special glass. There you go. See? Much better. What was that noise? Oh man, Mr. Killjoy, he's here, boys. Everybody, watch out, guys. He's about to, he's about to, you know. Ah, oh, crap! There we go. Did I pull away? No, I didn't. Ah, oh, oh. screwed up. What's up, man? How you doing? Just uh, hitting on your wife and stuff. My CEO. That's what I do. And unless you want to dig up his fucking corpse, he's not gonna give me another well, one. Why don't we get an actual dishwasher? Oh, here we go again. Then you won't be on my ass anytime there's a spot on a fork. Excuse you won't be on my ass at all if you don't stop overreacting. Overreacting, okay? It's not that big a crisis. Stay out of this, Javi. We don't see your ass for a year. A year. Then when your life goes to shit, we're expected to drop everything and roll out the red carpet. All for Prince Javi. And now you're gonna start telling me how to talk to my wife? This isn't about him. Really? He's the one standing right there, judging me for something he doesn't understand. You don't know him like I do. Always I don't know, man. Everyone. Just it sounds like you're being a D-bag. You know what? You're right. It's none of my business. No. It's not. I'm sorry about the glass. Really. It's fine. It was an accident. Don't worry, I can handle him. He's just in a mood. Trust me, it won't last. I was thinking about telling him off, but I've been playing this one pretty rough. I think I'm going to take it a little easier from now on. I'm, I'm choosing all the bad choices or the choices I wouldn't normally make. Usually I take like the nicest possible route. And this is what happened last time. That's right. Oh, man. I totally forgot. Kate got shot. Mariana got shot. Oh, hello. And goodbye. Hey, hey, Thanks, Clem. Take it easy. 
What happened? What happened? Yeah. We got away. Oh god. We could have took them all. Mariana. Oh no. I totally forgot about that. I'm glad I stayed behind though. Why does it gotta be so sad? I already dug a grave for her. Thank you. Where? Well, oh man. She really so did, though. It's the kindest. Yeah, supposed to go like this. She was the best. I thought Mariana was awesome. She was just so Mommy, nice. Thank you for staying. I think you probably saved my life. I couldn't leave you alone. That's because you're a good man. I'm not good enough to save her. You bought your people time, though. That counts for something. What do you mean by you people? <laughs> it's not a. Uh, <laughs> this is like the saddest moment. I think I'm going to take it with me. Hey, hang on a sec. She carried this around for years. I'm sorry I never found you those candy bars. Hot dude. You deserved just so much more life. Come on, dude. Do I gotta keep doing this? You should have been the one burying me. Except someday. Someday far away. You did everything you possibly... Can I get a moment's peace? Hey, bu hey buddy. Hey, how you doing there, guy? How, how you doing? I'm gonna make you talk. Even though you don't have the brain capacity of a flea, I'll make you talk. We have ways. <laughs> Wait, what is... You, you, you part of some kind of guy? You like the, the brand each other? Too. Oh, shit. What? Are they marking them? What's wrong? Like cattle. Clem. Maybe they're tracking them. That would be a good idea. Before. You'd oh, mark man. them and, and track the zombies and see where they walk. Please. I'd be so good in an apocalypse. They call themselves the New Frontier. They used to be decent people. Now they're something else. This brand they have. It's like an initiation thing. I was kind of stuck in their camp for a while not by choice it was bad i'm lucky space to be the new frontier uh what do you mean, what do you mean stuck? 
Were you a prisoner? I got out. That's all that matters. I think she had a bad, bad time. Well, cars behind. That's something at least. All right. Well, Just like there we go. Always wanted. I can take Gotta you make her feel bad. Make That's sure right. Yeah. Okay. So you drive me back. But then I'm hitting the road. Nah, oh, man. Come on. We're just getting to know each other, bro. Let's just get back to Prescott. Clementine, don't deny it. You know we're bros. You don't want to leave me either, and I don't want to leave you. Man, that sucks. Clementine acting like she actually wants to leave. Do you know I'm famous? Do you know who I am? You should be asking for my autograph. Since the first time we saw each other, I knew I was your dad. And you... <laughs> Still. We, we were good together. We're a good team. I wonder where Jane is. I know she went off alone, but... Hey, there's Gerald. Family. Did Eleanor get them here okay? She did. Though, okay isn't the word I'd use to describe them. Eleanor's been doing what she can. You'd best get over to the infirmary. They have a plane? Eleanor! You made it back. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. She asked for you. You know. I got here as soon as I could. Those guys didn't go down without a fight. And then, Mariana. I managed to stabilize her. Those bastards did her one favor, at least. Any lower, and that bullet would have torn her stomach lining as well. Your boy Gabe, so he seems really fierce. He wanted to help so badly. He practically forced me to let him stay. That's Gabe. But she was bleeding so much, he got overwhelmed. Did he pass out? I knew he passed so it. She's gonna be up on her he feet definitely again. Passed it. She's stable, for now. What does that even mean? But she's still bleeding inside. I don't want to lie to you. It's probably just a matter of time. Oh, dude. I. Um. I wish I could do more. No, I don't accept that. I can't. I've done everything I can for now. I'm sorry, Javi. I'm going to get cleaned up. You may want to find Gabe. He looked pretty upset when he left. This isn't going to make him feel any better. Still. I'll track him down. They need like a full hospital or something here. I mean, look, they got a plane. They've got cool trucks and everything. They obviously have resources. They could go find, you know, some equipment. There's gotta be something around well let's go find gabe i was gonna check the plane though because if i was gabe that's where i would hide not hide but that's where i'd want to be just because it's cool i mean who doesn't like planes i would love to fly in a plane someday like i've i've flown in big ones but i want to i want to fly in a small one preferably drive it because you know a driving plane would be cooler than looking at one and then i want to jump out of one not, not just suicide, but like, you know, go parachuting. There's a place a little far. Uh, it's, it's like down the valley. And it's like 300 bucks to jump out and get a lesson. And then 60 bucks. But I can't con anybody to go with me. They're like, nah, man. Why would I want to jump out of a perfectly good plane? That's for crazy people. How's she doing? Not great. As well as can be expected. Yeah, considering. If you'd waited for me instead of sneaking off the way you did, I could have helped. Would have been useful in the fight at least. Not that you had any way of knowing those assholes were going to show up. I should have told you we were going. Hey now. Bygones. <laughs> it's a hell of a situation. Just know I'm praying for you. All of you. And whatever happens... 
You all are welcome to stick around in Prescott, if that's what you want. Not gonna make a decision like that without talking to Kate, so... I'd rather check in with her when she's feeling better, you know? Sure thing. Let the lady weigh in first. I thought he was kind of a douchebag, but man, he is nice. He's just really understanding, I guess. I'm gonna check the plane, because that's where I think he is. Gabe? Hello? Gabe? Anybody around here? Flew in a plane just like this to a baseball game in Arkansas once. Lifetime ago. Jealous! I can't believe he threw it all the way just for that! What an ass hat! What a complete jackass. Millions of dollars. A kick-ass sports deal. Just pretty much everything anybody could want. But no, no, no. He needs more money. He's got to gamble. Oh, what an idiot. I can see why his family's kind of pissed at him. Like, I would be too, man. Threw that all away. Because he bet on himself. Silly goose. All right. <sighs> Gabe. Show yourself. I don't know where you are, but uh, you better come out. I don't have all day, mister. I'm a busy man. Hey, have you seen a kid come through here? Blood all over his hands. Dark look on his face. Headed off that way, without saying a word. If I were you, I'd give him some space. Just my advice. One parent to another. He's had a really bad day. Can't let him go off by himself. Not right now. Sorry to hear that. That blood, I take it that wasn't his? His stepmom's. You gotta stay strong for her. Do whatever it takes. Know if my friends seen we in the same situation, I'd fight like hell. Anything we can do to help you out, just let me know. I, uh... Appreciate that. Your boy stomped off towards the front gate. This is so different than the other two Walking Deads. When people would die before, they'd be like, Get wrecked, bitch! And these guys are all super nice. Oh, okay. just calm down there, buddy. I think he's dead. I think he's gone. I think he's made it to heaven. Or wherever. It was peaceful. How could it have been peaceful? You weren't there, man. Um. I know how much you miss her, Gabe. I miss her, too. And Kate, she needed me during her surgery. She needed my help. I just ran away like a stupid little kid. You stayed long enough to do some good. And because of that, I'm proud of you. You were there for her as much as you could be. That doesn't count. I'm done you mean it doesn't count? Feeling powerless. I can't be some helpless little boy anymore. I need to be a man, just like my dad was. Well, you your dad, you know, to. your dad kind of punched me in the face, so I don't know if You're you should be just right. like him. I'm not, but at least I know it now. Next time, I'm not gonna sit back and watch. I'm gonna do something. I have to. Listen. Gabe. Shit. Who do we got out? Oh no. Hopefully that's Clummy. I think she's gone though. Oh. This must be the part of The Walking Dead when camps start attacking each other. Like, that's when I kind of dropped off The Walking Dead because I was like, I'm here for the zombies, bro. We might have to leave. I don't need drama. I want to watch mindless death. <laughs> and hillbillies be badasses, but no. Now it's turning into a weird apocalyptic show. Oh man, they showed up with their buddies and then some. What are they? What? They brought a load of zombies? Those are the freaks that brand themselves. Yeah, they're pretty weird. I gotta agree. I wish we hadn't had to come all the way out here, but unfortunately, Badger here says you attacked his man. 
Uh, sorry, you don't know what you're talking about, bro. That's a big pile of crap. A lot of our people. Bullshit. If anything, they attacked us. Oh, please. They were just defending ourselves. You know what you did. How many of my friends died because of you, huh? Sounds like a bunch of he said, she said shit to me. Well, what the fuck do you want? An apology? What I really want is for my dead buddies to be alive again. But I don't think that's too likely, is it? He needs to come with us. Answer to justice. Accept his punishment. Ain't gonna be able to do it. We have laws. Otherwise, we're no better than the animals. Go fuck yourselves. You're not getting shit from us. That gate ain't bulletproof. Don't make me prove it. Fact of the matter is, you stole from us. You killed some of us. Give it up now and get down here. I think you have, need a little you have a tank. Incentive. I don't think you're going to get through, though. Man, what's he got in the back of that truck? Who's? Proceed. Damn it. Murder, I'll kill you. Whoa. You didn't tell me you had a hostage. Frissy, damn it. Don't be okay, baby. I love Why'd you go do that? Just, just give them what they want. There's no reason. You should have stayed inside. But we ain't oh, my God. what we came for. You hurt her, and I'll hurt you back worse than you could ever imagine. Big words. The words are just that. Big merge from a big man. Okay. Okay, they mean business. Um Hobby. Please, man. Just just go with him. You got to. You kill Francine. Nobody's but they're gonna kill me. We should start shooting. No fucking way. He'll kill Francine. He might kill her anyway, Conrad. We gotta risk it. Look, I'm sure we can work this out without anyone else getting hurt. Not interested in you trying to fucking stall. I'm gonna oh, he called my bluff. You know what happens at zero. Um, Five, nothing. Four, three. Um, 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 Oh, she's killed a few people. All right, let's pop her. Where's my mouse? Ugh! Man, why don't we have a lock on the door? What the hell? <laughs> oh, poop. Oh, man. Why were the gates not locked? Oh, what the fuck? We don't have the go ahead. No, fuck you. Fuck the go ahead. Ram the fucking gate. Oh, he's gonna have to answer to him later. Oh man! Jesus Christ! Get him! Shoot him! Shoot the guy! Shoot him! Shoot the man! Right in the front! Probably got bulletproof. But there's like two of them. <laughs> That's not gonna do anything. Okay, never mind. Zombie! <laughs> oh my God! Loose some weight, you fatty. Fucking tear gas. I have to find Kate and Dave. Can you help us? Go, man. I'll hold these assholes off. <laughs> Well, I gotta end it there. Adios!